Hello and welcome to TRG. If you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Richard. I'm originally from the UK, but at the age of 26, I moved to Germany where I've been living and working ever since. On the channel, we like to bring you videos about German culture, about real German culture. TRG stands for the real Germany, but a big part of German culture is, of course, the language. So today, TRG can also stand for talking real German. If you're new to the channel, and you find the video interesting, please do like and subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. Also, if you'd like to leave a comment, please do so. Any suggestions are very gratefully received. What kind of content would you like to see? Do you want to see more language videos? Do you want to see more videos about culture in Germany? Whatever you want to say, leave a comment down below and we'll get cracking with this video. I'm very lucky. I'm naturally obsessed with learning language. I love language. I earn my living as a translator uh, through language. I am also very lucky in that it takes Germans a long time to detect that I'm not a native speaker if they didn't notice at all. And this is the point of this video. This is directed at you. If you have already established a, a good or an intermediate, maybe an even an advanced standard of German, you've been learning for a long time, maybe you live here or you visit Germany regularly, or you have a regular tandem partner for German, or you're just taking classes and are, inter and are interested in improving. This is for those of you that really want to take it to that next level and to start sounding really authentic. Start speaking German almost like a native speaker. In this video, it's not so much about vocabulary or content, it's more advanced learning techniques. And in fact, some of these learning techniques can be applied to learning any language and indeed learning various disciplines. Let's start off then with accent and pronunciation. For speakers of other languages, German has some unusual sounds. Um, talking as a native speaker of English, obviously these unusual sounds for us are the CH, the H sound, the unusual R that seems to come from the back of the throat. Um, my name in German would be Richard. It's got the two uh, strange sounds, so the R and the H together. It's an old adage, but the adage is true. Practice makes perfect, and it's going to be one of those uncomfortable parts of learning a language that you simply have to practice these unusual sounds. You have to recognize what are the most difficult words or the difficult um, letters, sounds for you and don't avoid them. Or at least if you're going to avoid them in conversation with others, practice them like mad in private. There's no two ways about it. I remember when I first came over to Germany, I was taking a year out as a student um, an exchange year. I was aware very much of this authentic German R sound from the, the back of the throat and was determined to nail it, to absolutely perfect, perfect it so that nobody could tell that I wasn't from Germany. And my regular tram route from the city to where I lived, I had to pass by a stop called Brennschederstraße. And this became my practice word. It was one of the most difficult words for me to pronounce. Brennschederstraße. It has the, the German R in there at least twice in Br and Str. The unusual ST sound, sh, being like an S SH, T for, for us Brits. And I would sit at home and just repeat over and over again, starting off probably and at some point I was confident with it. I also um, established something really strange. I found when I was lying in bed, yes, I was that obsessed. I would lie in bed at night and practice my, my German sounds. I noticed that lying down, it was a lot more difficult for me to pronounce Brennschederstraße. And it was just another challenge. I kept repeating it and repeating it, and now I can speak German lying down. But it's not all bad news and not all hard work. Here's one tip that I'd like to give you that is maybe a little bit unconventional, but I think it's very useful. And I would say, do not be scared to embrace regional variants, regional dialects and accents. I say that because in Germany, there are, of course, a wide range of accents, and some of the pronunciation, the regional pronunciation, will be easier for you. It's also not the case in Germany that regional accents are looked down upon. 
In the UK, we seem to have a stigma where newsreaders generally speak Oxford English or BBC English. It was even more extreme in the past. Obviously, we are more accepting of regional accents nowadays. But in Germany, that's always been the case. That's my impression, at least. As long as you're speaking high German, you're not speaking different vocabulary, you're not speaking dialect words, there's a lot of acceptance for regional dialects. So if you're looking to absorb German and to speak with an authentic accent, then do not struggle, do not fight against the local dialect. Maybe you're living in Germany, you're living in a certain region, then speak the German, allow yourself to, to be a parrot. Listen and repeat. Pronounce the things the same way that they do. As long as you're very aware of the, the Hochdeutsch, the, the high German content of your, of your speech, and it, it's a good way to learn. Do not resist being a parrot. For instance, you may be living in the south of Germany, in Bavaria, or you may be in Austria, where the R sound is typically not from the back of the throat. It's more of a rolled sound. So, um, Brennschäder Straße would be Brennschäder Straße. I'm not very good at the, the southern uh, local dialects, but you see, it may be for an English speaker or certainly for a Spanish speaker, easier to roll the R. It's more from the front of the mouth. Don't resist it. Don't insist on speaking absolute textbook high German when it comes to little pronunciation. Things that helped me with the R. I was um, paying a lot of attention to pr pronouncing the R everywhere in the middle of a word really strongly and um, it was very very difficult. I live in Dortmund for example and in Dortmund it's very very typical in this region it's very typical to hardly pronounce the R in the middle of a word at all. So it's not Dortmund, it's Dortmund. It's almost as if there was an A after the O. It's not Sport, it's Sport. If you're living in the Rhineland, somewhere near Cologne or Bonn or wherever, you're likely to come up against a lot of people who do not pronounce the CH like a CH. It's very possible that you'll hear people say Ich bin instead of Ich bin. It's going to be easier for, to, for you to adopt that way of speaking if, if the CH is difficult for you. And again, it's not frowned upon. Again, you may be living in a region where vowel sounds are slightly different. Again, in the south, einmal, one time, once. Um, maybe einmal. It's okay to, to take on some of that, that accent. It's probably going to be easier for you in the long run to become a language chameleon, to have an accent that sounds German if you allow yourself to absorb some of these local colorings. As long as you bear in mind all the time that you stick to Hochdeutsch, High German, and learn to differentiate what are actual dialect words and what is correct grammatically, you'll be fine. If you want to counteract the effect of absorbing the local dialect, then watch the national news, for example once a day. Watch Tagesschau. This obviously applies not only to people living in Germany, but also if you are planning on visiting Germany, or, or you regularly visit Germany, or even if you just have a regular tandem partner from a certain region of Germany or a, another German-speaking country. Allow yourself to speak like those around you, and you will absorb it quicker. You will develop a genuine, authentic German accent more quickly. Moving on then, I think it's important for anybody learning any language that you seek complete immersion in the language. Now this is going to be easier on the one hand for people who already live in Germany than those that are still living in their native country or somewhere else. But it's not always an advantage. And I'm going to tell you also how you can recreate this total immersion of being in the country. Starting then with residents of Germany. I say it's not always an advantage that you are living here because I know full well that people from other countries may speak their own native language at home. You're probably here with your spouse or with other family and at home. If you're from the UK, you will speak English. It's natural. So you really have to make an effort to seek 
seek out these situations where you are only surrounded by German. Actively seek social situations without your spouse or your girlfriend or your family, your boyfriend, whoever. Surround yourself with your German-speaking friends, just your German-speaking friends, for a whole evening. Go out for a drink with your friends who only speak German and also insist that they speak nothing but German to you. I know it's a problem when you're starting off in Germany. A lot of people speak English to a very good level and they enjoy speaking English and they're very courteous and they, they want to be courteous to you, help you by speaking English. If you're serious about learning, ban English. Ban English from the conversations from your friends. You must insist that they speak nothing but German with you. Also, if you're living in the country and you speak a different language at home to German, introduce German-only days. Ban your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, the family, from speaking English or your native language for a whole day. Only watch German TV. You will make mistakes. You will struggle. It will be very unusual at first, but it's a really, really good exercise. Also, if you are not here, there are great ways of immersing yourself in the language as if you were in the country. You don't need to be here. Don't worry about it. Obviously, those of you who are, sen are serious about learning a language will probably also already have a tandem partner. You will have contacted a native speaker of German or the language you are learning and you will meet regularly and you will be having in intensive conversation classes. That's a great way to go about it. But also use technology. Netflix. Every everybody these days seems to have Netflix. And did you know you can watch almost everything in German? No matter where you are, set the language, the sound language to German and watch your favourite series, your favourite films in German. You can obviously do the same thing with DVDs or Blu-rays. As long as they have the um, German audio track, you can set them to, to German and watch your favourite movies. One of the best ways of using DVDs and Blu-rays, in my experience, is to take a DVD of a film that you know and love. Maybe you're a massive fan of Star Wars like myself and you've seen um, the original three movies over and over again. Put them on, but put them on in German so you know exactly what's going on. You, some of the, the dialogue, you know it off by heart, so you know exactly what's happening and you're just going to hear it in German. You will instantly know what is going on and your brain will compute a lot quicker and it will absorb what may or may not be new vocabulary for you. It's also a good idea and not a cheat at all to put on subtitles, but do not put on subtitles in your native language. Watch German, but put the German subtitles on. I found when I've been learning a language that it helps a great deal if you can read at the same time. Sometimes, particularly if it is a movie filmed in the original language, if it's a, a German film, it's going to be a lot quicker and more su subject to um, slang, regional dialects than, than if it were a, a dubbed movie. So being able to read along is great. And talking about dubbed movies, the actors that, that speak the parts, they speak very, very, very cleanly, high German, very nice, it's all very clear pronunciation. So it's great to watch a standard Hollywood movie with the German audio switched on and the German subtitles. Other than that, obviously if you're living in Germany you have the opportunity to watch German terrestrial TV. Watch really simple programs like soap operas. It's a good way to learn because you're not going to be confronted by complicated plot twists, it's everyday language, it's everyday situations and the plots are simple to follow. It may be tedious but I think with the incentive of learning a language and the challenge of learning a language it can make it actually really entertaining. I have another important tip for you, a really good technique for getting your German up to scratch for sounding really authentic and that is record yourself. I know it's going to be very unusual at first, it's going to take some getting used to for, for those of you that are not used to hearing your own voice, but believe me it's a very very good technique. Every smartphone nowadays has a voice recorder app or you can download one or you can even use the camera to shoot video and record yourself talking. I'm kind of used to hearing my own voice now because in my spare time I sing, I've been recording my voice for a long time 
for many years and also doing the YouTube videos I've got used to hearing my speaking voice but I know how it is at the beginning it's very unusual. The good thing is you don't have to share any of this material with anyone, it's for your own private learning and it's very very useful, believe me, try it out. And my final tip that I'd like to give you is simply don't be afraid to make mistakes. I'm guilty of this, I'm far too much of a perfectionist when it comes to this and I found I spent lots and lots of wasted hours sitting around not daring to speak in a social situation, simply avoiding conversation because I didn't want to say anything wrong. There were things being said around me, I was understanding fine at the beginning but I didn't dare say what I wanted. I had something to contribute to the conversation but I was too shy. I thought I was going to make a mistake or I wasn't 100% certain that it was going to be right. Don't worry about it, you will make, make mistakes. Native speakers of a language are not going to be critical. If they correct you, take it on board, learn from it, write it down, you've learned a new way of saying whatever it was you wanted to say. In the absolute worst case, maybe you're not going to be understood. Then you take that as a learning opportunity to, too. You have to find some way of saying what you mean a different way or trying it a different way, describing it a different way. It's all good. You will make mistakes. Native speakers are going to forgive you for it. They're going to be happy that you're making an effort to speak their language. Don't worry. Don't be like me. Don't be a perfectionist and it will come. Every mistake you make will be a learning experience. And if you are like me, too shy, too much of a perfectionist, a little bit of Dutch courage does help. Drink responsibly, obviously, I'm not trying to tell anyone to get ro roaring drunk, but um, it seriously can help. If you're in a relaxed social situation, sim simply having a, a drink with friends out in a cafe, in a bar, one or two beers really does help. It really did help me loosen the tongue. You get to that stage where you, you're taking my advice and you're just saying, I'm not bothered about making mistakes. And you take it all in your stride when you do make mistakes. I hope the video has been interesting for you and maybe a little bit helpful. If so, I'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. I'd love to see you here again. Tell me about your experiences learning languages. Tell me what I've missed, what should I have included in this video. What are your favourite techniques for trying to, to learn German? What are the things that make you sound more authentic? Anything you feel like saying, comment down below. Any requests, maybe there are videos that you'd like me to, to do. Any specific tips I could give. I'll be back soon with more similar content on life and culture in Germany and on language in Germany. Until next time, take care.